I enjoyed reading about all of the black schools because a lot of those teachers had only had like a two-year degree from normal schools, and yet it seemed like everybody could read or write like they would say uh, back in the day. And a lot of the black teachers were teaching, uh, who had PhDs, were teaching at elementary, junior, and senior high schools. Um, so I just thought that was uh, very interesting. I know when we were at Dunbar High School, we have a lot of teachers who had uh, doctorates. And they were there teaching us because they were not allowed to teach at, uh, at white schools. The What's in a Name project was funded by the DC Community Heritage Project. This project was carried out by the Women of the Dove Foundation, an organization dedicated to enhancing the quality of life locally and globally through community outreach. The Women of the Dove Foundation's project examined over 90 DC public school buildings, the majority of which have received historic landmark status to bring to life the history and heritage of schools and the persons for whom they are named. Well, you know, let's take, uh, for example, um, uh, Dunbar High School. I'm only saying that since it was the first black high school in the United States. Uh, more than 80%, at least 80%, went to college. And that was up until integration took place in about 19, uh, you know, 55. Paul Lawrence Dunbar Senior High School was originally preparatory high school for colored youth. The name was changed in honor of poet Paul Lawrence Dunbar, the first African-American poet to garner national critical acclaim. Dunbar High School was the nation's first and considered the best high school for black students. Cardoza Senior High School is named after Francis Lewis Cardoza. He was the first African-American to hold a statewide office in the United States. Francis Lewis Cardoza was also the principal of Dunbar High School. See, I remember when Head Start started, like in 1965, and um, I was teaching at the university level then, and I saw the workshops that had to be given um, to get people to teach in the Head Start program. So when we brought in Caucasians, to teach black children, they really had to be told how to uh, reach and how to talk and how to teach black children. And we even had books on it, you know, how to teach the disadvantaged child. And, uh, you know, we were strict and hard hitting and not just talking so softly, please do this, darling. And you know what I'm saying? That wasn't working sometimes in the uh, African-American uh, community. So there was even a difference to me in the response that uh, African-American children had in uh, a Caucasian environment. Well, I'm glad that um, DCTV is, uh, you know, publicizing uh, the various grantees of the um, uh, Humanities Council. This is really uh, publicizing a lot of um, uh, community needs. Women in the Dove Foundation, of course, we're trying to do a lot as far as um, helping students and helping the community, mainly with uh, scholarships and helping to identify um, needs and students and trying to um, improve them.